is excuse the noise I don't know what's going on there it sounds like an alarm but anyway it's Christmas so obviously I was going to do a Christmas vlog goes without saying um, I'm just here in the boring and I'm just gonna go to Selfridges and I've got my green tea obviously and um, I'm just gonna have it quickly and then go into Selfridges and see what's festive inside but look at that Christmas decoration doesn't it look beautiful <laughs> okay and this is my outfit don't know if you can see it properly oh well anyway um yeah let's just go into selfridges before we go into selfridges i just want to show you what it looks like at the moment outside it the building used to have 15,000 silver colored discs but they've they've just been removed because they are being repainted now the building is enveloped in this infinity pattern eye-catching pink and black wrap by Birmingham designer Osman Yusuf Zayda. I'm wearing one of his pieces. This is one of Osman Yusuf Zayda's pieces from his Autumn Winter 21 collection in which he collaborated with different creatives from India, Afghanistan and Uzbekistan. I actually really really love the sequin embellishment on this. It looks absolutely beautiful. Selfridges recently had an exhibition celebrating the designer in which he talks about his Afghan Pakistan parents who uh, were not able to read and write when they immigrated to uh, Birmingham and how all this translates into how he's become such an amazing designer and how he likes to give back to his community. Right, let's head over to Selfridges. It's actually located in the Boring and uh, this is how the Boring looks at the moment. It's actually not as busy as I thought it was going to be um, because it's only a few days before Christmas as expecting it to be much busier than this but it's a nice day to actually go shopping when it's not too busy. Uh, so Selfridges is just over several floors. There's four different floors and um, this is my view from the Boring. This is level 4 women's designer wear. I'm loving these decorations. Oh, this building is absolutely beautiful. There's Tiffany over there if anyone wants to buy me diamonds. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a red Christmas tree before. Across the atrium, there's Gucci on the other side, there's Christian Louboutin, there's Burberry, there's Jimmy Choo, and there's uh, more women's accessories and shoes on the other side um, oh Tiffany again of course <laughs> There's currently a Louis Vuitton pop club for women's designer wear. This is a limited edition autumn winter collection. Saint Laurent over here. Let's just walk into the boutique and see what they have. They do have beautiful designs, but it's a shame that everything is actually leather. So um, you can't buy anything from uh, Saint Laurent if you actually don't want to wear any leather. Another thing, YSL Beauty is not cruelty free because they actually engage in animal testing. Pangaya, one of my favorite sustainable brands. So the brand makes clothing from recycled and organic material. 
actually Pangaya deserves their own video because I'm so crazy about this brand. I also love that they use low impact non-toxic dyes in all their products and um, their eco-friendly material actually mean that there's less water that's used when producing their pieces. Then we have Balmain. Balenciaga, well I say women but most of the t-shirts are actually unisex. And no, the t-shirt's not crisp actually, that's the design. Don't be going home and ironing it because you'll just ruin it. <laughs> This is the Restry, it's one of my favourite Selfridges uh, services and I think it was launched sometime this year in March. So basically you take all your battered shoes and your old bags and they actually reform them back to their former glory. This service is actually part of uh, Project Earth which is a sustainability strategy by Selfridges um, encouraging us to commit to a change in the way that we shop. As you can see these look damaged and you'd be tempted to actually throw them away and purchase a new pair but then after having them restored they look almost brand new so this is an amazing service. This is Re Selfridges, which is part of um, Project Earth. You can actually sell your designer handbags and designer pieces back to Selfridges, and these actually form part of their pre loved designer accessories that um, someone else can actually come and purchase and get to enjoy as well. Stella McCartney is the only brand that's available in Selfridges that um, is a designer handbag that does not use leather, does not use skins, does not use fur or feathers um, in any of her products and um, their bags and accessories actually are made from a blend of organic and synthetic fibres with a vegetable coating and um, at least 70% of them are actually handmade and the other thing I like about Selfridges is that they do not stock fur at all because of animal cruelty I absolutely love that
it's named after my sister Miranda <laughs> actually this is the Carmen Miranda it's a giant shoe made out of stainless steel stainless steel pans by an artist called Joanna and um, it's it was part of an art trail for Selfridges with um, the icon gallery and um, it actually looks really nice and really cool if you actually see the way that they've stacked the pans to make them form this beautiful shape
one of my favorite sustainable brands they do not use leather at all so these are really good for vegans uh, they actually use um, environmentally friendly raw materials and they also use organic cotton and the price range is quite good as well so I really really love it Wear level two. I didn't really explore much here. I went downstairs to beauty, um, which is okay. This is how menswear looks from uh, this is level two, so this is how the building looks from um, level two, and that's ground floor. Okay, so now this is uh, beauty, which is on level three, and um, so all the perfumes, makeup, um, they'll all be on this floor. for taking the time to watch i hope you really enjoyed walking around selfridges with me and i hope you really enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you share and uh, turn on those notifications and uh, subscribe and follow me on instagram and um, thank you so much for watching hope you have a lovely christmas <laughs>